good blessed uh, Wednesday evening, uh, May the 26th, 2021, uh, the time being about 7.15 p.m. First, I'd like to say happy blessed uh, birthday to my oldest child, my only son, may rest in peace, Ryan Lamont John. Our mother, Marilyn Johns, I'd like to say happy, blessed birthday, and may God bless you to see many more. May our son, Brian, rest in peace, and may God lead us to the real cause of his death. And to those that may took a part in uh, him losing his life. But I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace, and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies, because I got a lot to claim to be my enemies. Uh, for what reason? Uh, solely because I am one that's not fearful and exercising my first and 14th amendment to the Constitution of the United States. Uh, what I wanna do first and foremost, I wanna thank the people in Carbondale and some of the people from the surrounding little towns, especially from yesterday, uh, May the uh, 25th, uh, a Tuesday, uh, May the 25th, 2021 in Carbondale, and I believe it was in Pavilion uh, uh, Park, downtown Carbondale, where these young people came together, black and white. Actually, it was more white than black. But they came together, they organized a march to honor the year anniversary of George Floyd being murdered. Now, they organized, all right now, they organized this here, and these is young people now, but it was young and, and people my age, older people, middle-aged people, it was even babies in the scroll. But they all was for one particular cause. Some wolf shirts saying Black Lives Matter, some had signs saying Black Lives Matter, black and white hat. Some had, uh, you know, justice for all. But it was something about this march yesterday. I, I covered the whole march. I participated in the march, but I videoed it for about 30 minutes. After the march, I videoed another 30 minutes and 20 seconds of young people speaking. Even the organizer allowed me to get up and tell my story about what happened to my son, Ryan Lamont Johns, on, on uh, allegedly on March the 19th of 2021, where he was found hung in Carbondale in an apartment building. But let me tell you something unique about this particular march here. These people, they had cliff fences at some time, and they clinched fishes wasn't to talk about coming to fight with the police. You see what I'm saying? They was trying to disband racist police. They was trying to put a stop to injustice. And as they marched, even though you could see from a distance with my video on, a police stayed they distance away. You could see that stop sign over there. You may not be able to see it. They was a little farther back than that. But let me show you something. They had marches in other places uh, commemorating the uh, year anniversary that George Floyd was murdered. Now, what was different than the one in Carbondale, Illinois, in Portland, Oregon? In Portland, Oregon, I, I watched it and it was disgusting to me and i don't care who in portland oregon may be watching this here i got a homie that live in portland oregon 
but it was disgusting to me because if you was marching about uh, the year anniversary of George Floyd being murdered, one of the police already been prosecuted successfully and convicted, and the other ones is about to stand trial, and you said you wanted justice. So, so far, even though he ain't got his time yet, but one been convicted, but y'all down there, and if the shoe fit where, y'all down there by the Justice Center and other places setting garbages on fire, y'all down there uh, breaking windows, y'all down there uh, shooting off fireworks, y'all down there really perpetrating the fraud. That ain't commemorating what George uh, Floyd died about. You see what I'm saying? But one thing about the young people yesterday, and they was listening to me as they was marching, I said, y'all setting the presidents. In other words, y'all setting a good example. You see, the enemy wants you to start breaking windows, breaking into places. You see what I'm saying? Start fighting with the police, cutting, cussing the police out. But you see, Satan come for three things and still kill and destroy. You follow what I'm saying? And then see, the enemy, they got what they wanted down in Portland, Oregon. They was able to arrest people. And I also told them young people, black and white, and they listened. After the, after the march, I told them, I said, you have three type of people that come into marches like y'all. Y'all exercising your first and 14th Amendment right. You have a right to peacefully protest. Portland, Oregon, and that wasn't peacefully when you setting fires and breaking windows. You have a, a right to peacefully speak, a, a peaceful speech. You have a right to peacefully assemble. That wasn't no peaceful assemble. But in Carbondale, it was. Everything was peaceful. You had young black and white got up and spoke, even a girl that was mixed, and told her story how one of her parents, I believe, is white and the other one is black, and she chose to use her white part of the heritage, but then she regretted it as she went alone in school because she seen that some blacks was being discriminated against, and she had black blood in her. But I told them people, I said, you got three type of people that come into your marches like this here. You got an infiltrator. The infiltrator comes into your circle as if they there to try to uh, support you in what you're doing. But yet, the enemy sent them in there to infiltrate, to see who the leader is. See what y'all next step is. See how they can go back and tell the perpetrator well, this is what they gonna do. Then the perpetrator go to work by perpetrating throwing a rock, busting the window out. Then the opportunists come and start breaking in where they broke the, uh, broke the window out. So you gotta be careful of those infiltrators, perpetrators, and opportunists. They come to destroy your movement. Hey, hey now. They come to destroy y'all movement. But they didn't let them destroy it down there in Carbondale, Illinois. And I appreciate y'all for allowing me to hear my voice. And I'm glad that the Southern Illinois reporters and, and, and uh, some of their photographers was there because I let them know I've been contacting them since March of 2021, April 2021. In May of 2021, I've been emailing them, sending them uh, 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 videos of some of my uh, YouTube about my son. Why ain't y'all printed my son's death in y'all newspaper yet? You haven't, you haven't printed in there yet. And it's almost been probably almost 70 days right now. And I told the people why they probably didn't do it. And some of the white people agreed with me. Number one, he was black. Number two, because he might have used drugs. Number three is because uh, he'd been to prison. Number four, because he was living in different shelters. Number five is because he wasn't one of them rich white people's kids. Or he wasn't one of them prominent 
uh, a politician's child, but he was my child. And you see, I think all them young white and blacks that took my YouTube and is sharing it on their Twitters. Those of you all didn't see this march yesterday in Carbondale, Illinois, on May the 25th, 2021, in, in the Pavilion Park from 5 to 7 p.m. yesterday. Look on my YouTube, Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D, I-V-I-V-Y. It's a part one, two, and three. In it's titled, Raymond Lewis Ivy, that's how I start them all off. Multicultural March, uh, George Floyd's March, 525-21 in Carbondale, Illinois, part one, part two, and part three. And you will see these young people came together. It was more white than black. But did you know what really got me? I done seen blacks the past weekend marching with a whole bunch of Palestinians because of the uh, unrest that was in Israel with the Israelis and the Palestinians. But even though it's a ceasefire, they was marching for them, with them for peace. But I didn't see Palestinians or some of these blacks that I seen marching or was talking about marching. I didn't see none of them in that march, but you had a collective black and whites came together, y'all. And I appreciate y'all. And I want y'all to just keep on helping me search for the re uh, who made it took my son's life. And some people believe the police have something to do with it. I don't put nothing past nobody. Everybody is a suspect. Peace be still.